fellow fun flyers, Dan Johnson here, talking to you once again about the Aeromarine LSA Merlin Light, a fully enclosed, all metal, and yes, Part 103 compliant aircraft. Kind of an amazing thing. A lot of you simply didn't believe it. And one of the ways you didn't believe it, despite the small Polini engine that it has up front, is that how could something like this make Part 103 weights? It seems like an impossible task, but... Those, the uh, three, yeah, well, yeah, you're right, you only need two, so we'll use those two. Okay. These two I checked with my weight, they are very close to me. So if you didn't know, as I once did not know either, the way you weigh an aircraft is using a scale for each point touching the ground. So we use the scales you just saw a moment ago under the main gear, but if you look back at the tail of the airplane there, you'll see that, hmm, it might be hard to actually weigh anything this light on scales of this type, and indeed that was the case. So we came up with another method that you'll see here in a moment. Where's your safe button? So here you're observing Mr. Chip Irwin, the developer of the airplane and many other aircraft, including once upon a time, the very well-known sport cruiser came from this gentleman right here. But he's focusing on single-seaters these days, Merlin and now Merlin Light. So we've used all six scales that we had, three sets of two scales, and we use those on the main gear as you're observing right here. So this is without the cowling, but with the door. Cowling should be less than the door, you say. So we used all three sets of two scales each, six different scales used, and wrote down all the numbers that each of them showed so we could average them and come up with the right one. The tail was so light all right. that we had to use a different system. Chip had brought one along just for this purpose. Here he lifts it up, and as you will see, it weighed 30.6 pounds. And we logged all this down, added them all up, and averaged and came up with the numbers that we did that you'll see on this final screen here. But this aircraft had not only all the stuff inside, it had a door on it as well, but it did not have a cowling. The two weights are going to be relatively similar. And so we wanted to check that out. That parachute in there is not just a fake, that's an actual parachute with its full weight. And the inside of the aircraft had all the stuff you'd want. The seat cushions, the nicely padded belts, there's the parachute handle, two brakes on in front of the joystick for differential braking, instrumentation, everything else. But let's weigh that door too and see what it weighs separately. And since the cowl weighs something similar, well, there you have it. 4.2 pounds. So you put it all together, this thing makes legal weight. Let's go see how she flies. This flight that you're watching here, by the way, occurred within about three weeks of the time everyone saw the Merlin Light at the Midwest LSA Expo. Here Chip is hands off demonstrating how smooth the airplane flies. Of course, I'm sure it was a nice smooth day too, but nonetheless, this is not some crazy little airplane. This works the way it should. Here he's demonstrating the flaps. That's down uh, one notch. They go down really deeply, but they are fouler flaps. You're beginning to see a little daylight there between the top of the flap and the trailing edge of the wing. So a mighty impressive package here. It's still got a little bit of work to do. It does have a nose cowl, by the way. The nose cowl weighs only four pounds, much like the door did. So you probably gotta have one or the other to stay within legal weight, but it's possible he could get both of them on there. A little bit of work yet to do on this airplane, but a very impressive job, and this has created more interest than any other single article we have wrote about this year. Thousands of you responded to this thing. We're gonna see some more about it, and you'll see a full video interview with more flying scenes and more views of the aircraft. That'll be coming later. 
What I want to ask now is this question. Well, that was exciting. First flight's always are, and that one was exceptional. And it's back on the ground, all in one piece. That's one reason it's exceptional. The other one is it works, and it was flying hands off. 75 miles an hour, uh, and the lowest speed I could see uh, indicated was 30, with some not quite full flaps, but I think 32 degrees flaps. So basically, it does everything I expect it to do. The engine only ran a little bit warm right around the red line on the water temperature at full extended climb. Other than that, the uh, CHT was fine and uh, perfectly smooth. That's, uh, that's it. Now to debrief. Thank you for watching. Well, I can hardly wait for my own shot at it and maybe you too. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate it.